This is not the video that I had planned for today. It's a very unusual video for me, in fact, but these are unusual times. I just felt that as a Brit living in, of all places, Germany, I had to add my voice to the countless voices out there saying, this is not okay. On the 1st of September 1939, almost exactly 80 years ago, British journalist Claire Hollingworth witnessed the first stages of Germany's invasion of Poland. Neither the British Embassy nor the paper she worked for believed her. The National Socialist regime had come to power using a variety of techniques. Legal sleight of hand, straightforward bullying tactics, propaganda and finally simply ignoring the Constitution. Last week, the British government announced that Parliament was to be prorogued. It argued that this was a perfectly normal procedure, and that's true. But the timing and duration of this prorogation are unprecedented and suspiciously convenient for a government determined to press ahead with a no-deal Brexit. From there, we have, in the space of just a few days, reached a situation where we have two separate statements by different government ministers saying that the government is considering ignoring any law that gets in the way of Brexit. Now, I know that Britain today cannot be compared with the Weimar Republic. There are many, many very important differences. But the similarities are enough to be terrifying. We have the government taking advantage of legal loopholes. We have the government ignoring constitutional laws. We have the bullying tactics as well. Not just the cyberbullying by ordinary voters, but the government making threats against its own MPs. There's little that I can do. I don't live in Britain and I haven't even been eligible to vote since 2008. But I do have this platform which I can use to add my voice of protest against this power grab. I definitely do not want to go down in history as one of those who saw it coming and said nothing. If Brexit happens, and if it proves as disruptive as many people fear, there will be a national emergency. The government will use this as an excuse to introduce emergency measures to deal with the situation. Each new piece of legislation will take power away from Parliament and away from the people and give it to the government. We've been down this road before. And to those who ask how Germans of the 1930s could stand by and watch it all happen, it's happening right now.